this simple looking box can turn out to be a challenge in SketchUp and in the shop. The angles create the difficulty, particularly in the corner joinery, in this case being dovetails. This video shows how I approached the design while considering the procedure that I would use in the shop. In keeping a short video length, I'll break the activity into multiple sections. This first stage produces the side, the foot end, and the dovetails on this ladder component. So I start with a shape, and that shape is of the bottom. So I have a face already established here. The face of the bottom, the shape, the outside perimeter of this face represents the inside dim dimension of the box. To create the side, I pick the line tool and raise up to the height at the foot end. Then I establish the longer length, higher length at the head end. Then connect the ends of the two lines and bring a line back on that base. And I've got the face and the shape of the side. After getting that face, I want to extend the foot end of the side about one and an eighth of an inch. That will give me an extra one eighth inch protrusion through the foot end of the piece. And that foot end is going to, going to be one inch thick, so I'll have a one eighth inch protrusion. And I'm going to want that extra protrusion while I build this joint in the in the shop so that the length of the side will be trimmed after the dovetails are made. I've made this side a component and I need to give it its thickness of one inch using the push-pull tool bring it out one inch thickness. Okay, now for the foot end piece, again starting with the inside face, using that inside corner from the bottom shape, and then coming up to the height of the side, making sure, zooming in, making sure that I get all the way up, coming across the green and coming down on the blue axis again and creating that face, the inside face of the foot end, making it a component. And then giving that component its one inch thickness. Now it's it's not long enough. It, it, that end piece needs to come out beyond the outer face of the side. And I want that extension to be one-eighth of an inch extra. So I turn X-ray on, get the push-pull tool, and bring that, bring that end out beyond the face one-eighth of an inch. This is the these these will be the dimensions of my lumber cut in the shop uh, to get that extra length so that I can plane them off after cutting and fitting, gluing the dovetails. Okay, so the dovetails now. And I'm going to uh, edit this. I need to edit the component foot end and draw this line where the where the outer where there's going to be an intersection of the side and the end also 
going to draw this line on the inside face of the foot end. And copy, I'm going to work on this separately out in front. Bring that out on the red axis, a copy of the foot end. And now begin to work on the shaping of the dovetails. I want equal tails and pins sizes, so I'm going to divide this line into seven segments. That'll give me a pretty good large size dovetails as is typical on these kinds of pieces. And grab the protractor tool, come down to that first segment of the line and come across on the red axis and then angle up 10 degrees. I'll make my dovetails at a 10 degree angle and create the line. Uh, actually, I want the line I want the line on the guideline, not on the green axis. So I'm going to delete that extra line there, delete the guideline. Come down to the other end of the this will be a pin, a dovetail pin shape. And again, make this at a 10 degree on the, at the other direction. And trace over that guideline. That gives me the shape of the pin. And when I saw this, I'll be hand sawing these. I'm going to saw across uh, on the red axis, flat across there, and I'll saw this on the red axis there. Uh, now it would be nice if I could just push pull that shape right out of the piece, but that won't work because of the angles of the side. And I'm going to just run a red line out past the inner face of the end. And then where the intersect, where the face intersects that line, there it is, and there's the intersection. I'm going to come across to get that angle. The same angle is on the other face, but notice that the, the I'm in X-ray now. You can see that the the face of that is really too far out because there's an angle. And I need to draw from corner to corner there and delete the extra material. So the push-pull won't work because of this angled side to end connection. Delete those extra lines. Now I've got a nice dovetail shape that can be sawn out. And I'll just get a copy of that pin shape and bring that copy down to the next segment, two, two segments down, and do that again to finish up an equal spacing of all these pin and socket equal socket and pin sizes. Now that last copy creates some extra material down there at the bottom edge that needs to be removed with the eraser tool.
Okay. All right, so we, we're not done. We've got some cleanup to do here. And we may have to go into x-ray mode to, but let me just delete for the socket. And uh, I'm missing a face. Let me, oops, let me trace over an edge to get the face back. And also reverse the color. There's another socket up. Well, I can, there's, there's the pin. Here's the other socket. Let me delete that edge. I've, yes, I've lost that face. Let me trace over an edge to return the face and reverse faces. The last socket is up here at the top. Uh, so that I don't lose the faces. Let me just go ahead and draw in this top line. And that's not the red axis. It's the, this connection. And delete out the socket and change reverse faces. And that, that pretty much gives us the the pin section that I'll cut out first in the shop and then use that to mark out the side. And in the next video then we'll complete the dovetail joint by, by making the complementary joinery in the side piece.